Okay guys, so I want to show you this really easy mousetrap car that we put together for my twins 8th grade science project. The only reason I'm showing you this is because there are tons of tutorials on YouTube already and I must have watched 30 or 40 at least. What I found though is some were taken from a distance and some, there were a lot of hands going over things and I couldn't figure them out. It was just, it was way too complicated for me. I'm a crafter, I'm not scientific at all, and I just couldn't figure this out. So, I just wanna run down what we used. This one was our third go, and it runs over six meters. Um, we've tested it indoors a couple of times. It actually runs into our front door, and we don't have a longer space to try it in. But I will show you at the end of the video just how far it goes. But what you need is so we have a wood block right here. This was actually a wooden gift tag that I found in amongst my craft supplies, but any piece of wood will do you just fine. Then you're gonna want four popsicle sticks. You wanna cut those two a little bit shorter than the others. You want a wood dowel rod that you can also cut. You're gonna need a couple of those because you'll need one for this one as well. You're gonna need electrical tape, a mouse trap, of course, and some CDs or DVDs. Blank ones are fine, old ones that are broken are fine too. And then you're gonna need some rope of some description. We tried fishing line and found that that was too hard to roll around the back axle. Um, but this is just a waxed cord and it works perfectly. Now in this, I also put a small screw eye to attach the cord to. And you're gonna need a lot of hot glue. I'm talking a lot of hot glue. Okay, I forgot one more thing too, washers. So I know it's hard to see them here with the hot glue all over them, but I actually used two washers on each side um, just because the hole in the center of the disc is so large, it just, it made it a little bit smaller and a little bit easier to attach the discs to the wood dowels. So make sure to grab those two. Most of these supplies you really should have at home, so you shouldn't have to get too much on your own. Um, now, the first thing you want to do is remove these parts from your mousetrap. I'm not sure if you can see it here, but we keep that arm and this section intact and then glue it down to the wood. Glue these sections next. Now, if you can see here, there's a small plastic tube here. You can use a straw, but you'd need to get a really wide straw to fit the wood dowel. What I found is at Walmart, they have these beads of strawberry and chocolate in the coffee section um, and chocolate milk section that you, they're straws filled with these tiny little beads that you can put in milk. And the kids suck them up through the straws. They were the perfect size to go over these wood dowels. So my kids just, had their milk and I cut up the little plastic straws afterwards and they were able to hot glue these on to the popsicle sticks. Hot glue the, um, hot glue all of this on as well. And then hot glue the stick onto this side. This is what's gonna give you the propel to move forward. So you're gonna put this back, you're gonna wind this around there, and when this goes forward, it's gonna propel it forward as this moves this way. Now, one of the other parts that I couldn't get from some of the other videos was exactly how to secure this. So when it's laying flat, you're gonna secure it at this end. Okay, make sure it's nice and tight so it doesn't wiggle up and down, which is why I put the, the screw eye in there. And then you're gonna want it to go about this much further than the axle. Wind it from the top. So over and then under. Okay, that way. Now, you're gonna gradually lift it up and as you lift it up, you're gonna wind it backwards. Making sure not to get the string on these plastic sections because otherwise it's not going to unwind properly or move the axle to propel the car forward. Also wind it tightly. 
the looser it is, the quicker it's going to unwind. So you want to make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure it goes all the way back. And then I'm going to show you how this actually moves. Okay, so all the way back, like this, right? There we go. Yeah.